I would not want to be standing here because, uh, well, you'd be squished and die. So that would be bad. How excellent. Oh, no. Well, we just ran over a tugboat. So uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Tiny Sailor's World and there's been a brand new update. The game is now running on version 4.0. So let's go ahead and let's check it out. So first things first, before we spawn in, let's take a look at the update log so we know what we're going to be looking at in this video. So uh, yeah, let's go over to the menu here and we're gonna go over to, it should be update log, there it is, and here we have it. So other than the new game icon, we've got passenger screaming sound effect toggle, so if we wanna turn that on and off, we can. And we can do the same for bot ships or AI ships as well, so that is pretty cool. There's now also a new warehouse at shipyards and carrier plane customization, so that's cool, we can alter the planes on the carriers. Now there's also tweaks, but I'm not gonna go into detail with those, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the 4.0 update. So let's go ahead, let's hop into it. And I really want to check out the new warehouses. So uh, yeah, let's go find a shipyard and try that out. Now, another thing I've noticed is the menu has gotten an update. So it's not just a search bar. We've also got ocean liners, cruise ships, and cargo ships, and it goes on. So these tabs will make it easier to find whatever ship you want to spawn in. So let's go ahead and let's go for cruise ships. And let's just pick one here. So why don't we go for the Rotterdam? So we'll spawn that in. Now another new thing that's been added is these buttons on the right hand side. So these are for the minimap, the wireless system, music, and more music. So that is very convenient. Now let's sail around. I'm currently in Southampton and I do see Ship Warehouse. So we want to sail over there and see what that is. I do see the Queen Mary over there, but I've got to find where the uh, warehouse is. It seems like it's sort of inland a little bit, so I might be going the wrong way. Let me turn around. It doesn't help that it's night, but soon it'll be day. It's almost uh, three in the morning. Yep, it's actually three in the morning now. But other than the update, the Rotterdam looks pretty cool. I haven't sailed it in a while, and I do think it is a nice looking ship overall. It's uh, pretty well balanced. Oh, look at that. There's another ship right over there. Let's see what it is. Looks like it might be the Titanic or the Olympic there. Not sure. Let's see. Oh my gosh, they are on a collision course with us. Oh boy, this is not good. And we have collided with the Titanic. So, um, yeah. But luckily we didn't take that much damage, or actually any damage at all, so that's perfect. Anyways, I've found an opening. It's just to the right under the Golden Gate Bridge, or well, actually, hold on, there's two of them. Interesting. Anyways, here we go. I'm actually gonna have to slow down here a lot. I might actually have to go into reverse. Alright, that looks good. Let's stop. And let's get going. And look at that, we got a nice sunrise to greet us. And I think the Titanic is sinking over there. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe we'll go and see if we can rescue anybody over there. Um, right now, we gotta find out how to get into port. Uh-oh, this is not good. All right, stop. Let's see, can we stop without using anchors? Oh, wow. That is very close. Holy cow. Almost pulled the Costa Concordia right there. And I see the new warehouses. Look at that. Wow. That is a very large warehouse. All right, so let's see if we can sail into them. I mean, we're going to have to beach the ship, which is a little concerning. But uh, yeah, here we go. You know, that door isn't opening uh, at all there. Uh-oh. Oh, we're good. We just uh, crashed through the door, but we're fine. All right, here we go. So that is pretty cool. It's really interesting to see a ship like this inside a massive warehouse. It just doesn't seem right. But uh, let's go ahead and let's spawn in a massive cruise ship, something way bigger than this, and see what happens. All right, so I've moved the ship out of the dock there, and I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in an even larger ship. All right, so we've got some pretty massive ships here. We've got Symphony of the Seas, Mardi Gras, Quantum of the Seas, Regal Princess, and uh, Pride of America. So let me see. I think we'll go with Quantum of the Seas. All right, so I got to turn around again because um, the entrance is over that way. So, uh, yeah. Now, another thing that's been tweaked in this update is the nameplate text. It's been altered a little bit, and uh, it's not just on this one. It's also on Symphony of the Seas. So, yeah, it's more accurate, I believe. But uh, here we go. Let's turn the ship and let's uh, make our way over there. Now, something interesting that's actually located here in San Francisco is a Titanic that's split in half. 
Now I think that's representing the museum that you can find in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee and also Branson, Missouri. So uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so here we go. We're gonna make our way into the warehouse and we're gonna try not to destroy everything. So uh, here we go. Oh my gosh. We're tilting a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Scrape the side a little bit. Just some minor damage there. Um, so there we are. The ship is now in the warehouse. All right, here's an amazing view of the ship in the warehouse. And I mean, this is crazy. You don't really expect to see a massive ship like this inside of a warehouse. I mean, the Rotterdam was one thing, but this, this is crazy. All right, here we go. I would not want to be standing here because, uh, well, you'd be squished and die. So that would be bad. How excellent. Oh, no. Well, we just ran over a tugboat. So, uh, that's unfortunate. Now, what I want to check out next is the carriers. So, let's go ahead, let's spawn in a carrier and, well, change the airplane color. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's spawn in an aircraft carrier. So, we'll go to warships, we'll go and scroll down, and we'll use the Enterprise again. So, there we go. Alright, so here we are in ship options. And let's go ahead and let's go through here and see where we can find airplanes. Alright, so here it is. So, let's go ahead and let's just do blue. So, uh, there we go, we press enter, and that should change the aircraft. You can barely see it there, but yep, there they are. They are now blue, so that is pretty cool. Now, because we haven't had a sinking yet, let's go ahead and let's, well, start sinking. So, let's select something fun. Um, we can sink by fire, that might be cool, so yeah, let's go for that. Alright, we are now on fire, and the ship is bouncing around. There's planes on the deck that are now on fire as well. Wow, that is a stunning shot at night as well with the flames just glowing. All right, let's watch those airplanes. They may be a little difficult to see. Oh, there they go. Yeah, this is it. Yep, they're sliding off. And they're actually still blue. So if you leave them that color while you're sinking, they will actually stay that color when the ship goes down, which is nice. Here's an eerie view looking forward and the ship is going down by the bow and also tilting onto its side. There's one lonely plane left. And it's gone. There it is. The ship doesn't have any planes anymore. It is engulfed in fire. This is it. She's going down. All right, I'm jumping off. There it goes. Luckily, we are right near shore, so uh, if there's any survivors, they'll be able to uh, even swim over there, which is nice. So, uh, yep, there she goes. All right, not much is left of it now. All the fire has gone out. Just the stern remains. And if we go underwater... We should be able to see the planes. I don't know if you can see them. I don't know if YouTube compression is going to ruin the image. It probably will. But yeah, there's planes down here. They're all wrecked on the bottom. And we also have part of the superstructure, which is, uh, well, broken off here. And uh, the ship is now coming down. And it's actually going to land on an angle because the seabed is uh, sort of at an angle. So we'll see what it does. I'm wondering if it's going to land upright because... The angle is such where it could just fall on its back or fall uh, backwards and that would allow it to uh, lay upright. So here we go. Oh, it's actually going to land on its side and it just crushed all of those planes. Wow. Well then, that was a pretty cool wreck there. Well then, I think that's going to be a video right there. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.